So here we are, back at Treasure Island, or TI as it's more uh, better known these days. This is actually the first time I've done a vlog on YouTube. I've had a YouTube channel for quite a number of years and I've got various bits and pieces on there from other trips. I've never done a vlog before and there's a, f a few people have asked me to give it a go. So <laughs> if you'd have asked me 12 months ago to be talking on camera, I'd have thought you were crazy. But anyway, I'm going to give it a go. Hopefully this series will be about eight videos long. We're here for eight nights. So we're going to get in, checked in. Uh, I'll take you straight up to the room. We'll have a look round the room. And hopefully it's going to be an epic trip. Myself and my wife Claire, as usual, we've got 300 each a day to lose. So if I take more than a penny back to the UK in nine days time, I'll consider myself a winner. <laughs> so see you in a bit. So here we are, 34018 of TI. Uh, I'm not going to go into much details on this room. Uh, I've already actually got a video of a strip view room in TI, so we'll just have a quick run round. Bathroom straight to your right as you come in. Nothing major, it's just single sink in this place and a single tub and shower. There's no, no separate shower cubicle, but adequate enough. It's a, it's a fair sized bathroom to be fair. And as you come out, there's plenty of closet space. So you've got plenty of hangers, plenty of space there, two large door mirrors. And one thing I do like, as well as a lot of people, is that is an empty fridge. Better than that censored crap that you get in a lot of resorts these days. You can't fit any of your own stuff in, so that along with the 24 hour supermarket downstairs we can get stocked up with own bits and bobs and that's uh, that's all you need. Uh, big safe, you can get plenty in that safe. Some places I know they have the, the ones that are attached to the wall, you can't really get a lot in those so nothing wrong with that. There's moving on, just a large comfortable king size bed. Plenty of drawer space, usual fittings. These have actually been remodelled I think in last four or five years or so, not too long ago. So they're, they're not too drab. Like, so some people think that's oh, really drabby, but the, these, the, these rooms are actually all right. I mean, for, for what you get for the money, they are pretty bang on, to be fair. Large mirror, desk, chair, and that thing's quite uncomfortable. I don't really bother with that. <laughs> and best thing about this room, obviously, the view. Let me check that out. Look to your right, you see the mountains right in distance. And you've got uh, Rio over there, over to Mirage, and you've got the strip. And that will look amazing at night. I'll come back to it at night anyway. I'll get a, I'll get a few shots at night because I think that this view what I'm seeing right now, this is actually what you can see from your bed when you're laying in bed. It's it's absolutely superb. One thing I will point out, anybody who's planning to come to TI. If you look to the opposite wing to us here, we're on the 34th floor, which is right here. It's got 36 floors, so if you want a strip view room and you want to avoid this, which is the Cirque du Soleil sign for the Mystery Show at Treasure Island, you want to avoid floors 28 to 33. So when you're checking in and you're asking for a high floor, just mention that if you like because it doesn't really obscure your view but the, the meshing of the sign you, you can't you will be able to see it and it might 
put a few people off. So 28 to 33, trying to avoid them on high floors. And jobs are good and it's, uh, you can't beat it for the view really. It's, uh, it's, it is an excellent view. It's a good room. Um, we've got this for eight nights. We're Saturday till next Sunday. Uh, we've got the first three nights comped. Uh, we pay for five. On top of that we've got a $150 slot play, $75 resort credit, and a free upgrade to the strip view room actually, because we, we only actually paid the, the standard rate, so all in all, pretty decent deal. Can't complain. But like I say, anyway, I'll come back later on, we'll get some night shots of this. Um, catch you in a bit. There we go. First bonus at trip. Hit it work. Early re-triggers, that's what we want. Oh, two gold before, as that'll do. <laughs> we need a re-trigger. It's not looking good straight away. Now, game six. Come on. Oh. Last spin and that is ridiculous. $2.70. That has got a bit worse. <laughs> Bonus on Buffalo Gold I've ever seen. Never mind. So we had $150 slot play. Um, we've just used it. We had 75 on Buffalo Gold. <laughs> To which you saw an absolute epic fail of a bonus at $2.70. That's actually got to be the worst I've ever seen. And then we had 75 in... Which one were Oh, the Quick It Riches. We, we got 50 out of it, so out of us $150, we basically took 100 It's not the best, but $100 is $100. So I'm catching a bit. So after that epic fail, I'm trying again. <laughs> Trigger. Oh, thank God for that. Eight will do. Oh, five more. Elks. Right, ten games to go. Seven eight is a lot, but the five dollars of the last one. Put it that way. Gold buffalo heads, let's get them. One there, re trigger. Oh, that's two. One more to change our eagles. Mm, two times two is on tens, you know, it's that. It's not bad. Two more. Right, that's all the eagles. I need a re-trigger. Yes. Two more heads. Not bad. Eighteen. Come on, line them up. Oh, I see Claire's got it as well. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Early reach triggers for Claire as well. Come on. Need a re-trigger. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. One more spin, re-trigger. Re-trigger, oh no. Fifty-eight eighty. A lot better than two seventy anyway. <laughs> I'll take that. And just as I've won 58.80, Claire's smashing a coin show. 
76 in one line it. Nice one. How many spins we got? Oh, it's your last spin, you need a re-trigger. Oh, I'm lucky. $76 though. So it's a space of five minutes, we've just 130 between us. Getting better. <laughs> Come on boys, all four. <laughs> Set two, get him a show when I'm there. Throw it up, yep, 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 yes! Oh no, no. Not bad though. Incredible. Not brilliant. 27. Okay, so I'm here on the worst paying machine ever in history. <laughs> Game of Thrones, and I've hit a bonus, I can't believe it. So, uh, some good bonuses on it. It's a good game. It's a really entertaining game, but it's a bad payer. I'll take the Mother of Dragons bonus. That's a good one. No, but oh, Blackwater. Okay, so on this bonus, you've got to get the wilds at the top to drop in with the characters. You'll get gist of it when I uh, get it on. Let's go kill them. Let's go kill them, Tyrion. Good lad. Okay, six speed spins. You've got to get the wilds into the bottom. So you see. What happens, the characters drop into the middle line and whatever they represent up there, those wilds will drop down. So all three will drop down, there you go, you see? They'll drop. And that's an absolutely shocking hit, as usual for this game. <laughs> So that's the, f we've only got three spins, we're up to 95 cents, that's about right. <laughs> oh my god, that is dreadful. The she goes up there, come on, drop them down, yeah, yeah, we'll have a bit of that. Oh my word. One spin left, $3.45. Cersei, two down, yeah. Something big, oh no. Five dollars five. I'll not spend it all at once. Battle is over. <laughs> I told you. Brilliant game. Brilliant TV show. A dreadful player. So following on from earlier, this is the actual night view. So 34th floor. Check that out. Pretty impressive. Gambling went alright tonight actually. Both broke even from just the slot play. Didn't spend another dollar. Claire doubled the money on Buffalo Gold. Then she went on to double it again on video poker. And then I just broke completely even from a decent win on Buffalo Gold and that basically sums it up I've been awake now for 28 hours and I'm pretty much shot so it's time to get to bed and probably wake up at 3am with bloody jet lag so see you tomorrow